My name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta historical trivia, brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Betty Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes, or just take a quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was, which honorary title was Ole Anderson from Smith given? Is it A, Reeve, B, Governor, or C, Mayor? And the answer is C, Mayor of Smith. Plenty of characters have come and gone in Alberta communities along the years. They were not the norm in many ways, but they were a part of the community, and often while people let them lead the existence they chose, they were loved. In Smith, where I reside, Ole Anderson was that character. He and his father arrived in the area in 1919 or 20 with a sizable herd of cattle and settled on a piece of land along the Lesser Slave River and grew produce. This they would sell to new arrivals on the railway. Each day Ole would come driving into town with an old horse hitched to a light wagon full of these vegetables with several dogs trailing along behind. Once his father passed away, Ole and his dogs moved into town building a cabin on the little pond south of town, which is now known as Ole's Ponds. If you were to drive into Smith today, you'd cross the railway tracks with the pond to the left and one to the right. In his time, the highway wasn't there and this was one big pond. Each morning, along with his dogs, he would plod into town with his pack sack and a long stick. When returning to his shack, he would pick up coal lumber and other odds and ends and prepare to build the next shack as the one he was living in became uninhabitable. Now Smith is a hamlet, so no, no mayor is appointed officially. The town folk thought this would be a great title for Ole, as he was the most highly visible person around. He was very visible to motorists, thankfully, as he walked down the middle of the road to and from his current shack, along with his repertoire of dogs. Tourists often to ask for his photo, which he was happy to pose for, for a dollar or two. The image we've supplied for Ole was from a local, Hazel Linney, and it cost her two dollars. While friendly, Ole did not associate with people much, preferring the company of his canine companions, and perhaps his nodding acquaintance with soap and water added to this predicament. However, the townspeople were affectionate towards him. As he got older and his health failed, he moved to BC, although I'm not sure of the reason why. Perhaps he had family there. After he passed on, the townspeople of Smith took up a collection to bring their mare home by railway. True to form for doing things a little differently, Ole missed his own funeral when an avalanche blocked the tracks. So if you ever find yourself in the Smith Cemetery, stop by and pay your respects to this unique man. His headstone is marked Ole Anderson. Mayor of Smith. And tomorrow's question is, who brought the first pig into the Grand Prairie region? Is it A, James Cornwall, B, Alexander Monkman, or C, Louis Callahoo? Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it. Then we'll load you up with the next day's question. Enjoy!